Nestled in the heart of Montreal, under the shadows of the Montreal Tower, exists a museum district like no other in the world. A place where you can travel from the Amazon rainforest to outer space, all in the same day. This collection of five interconnected institutions are dedicated to the love of nature, science, exploration, and life itself. We call it Espace pour la vie, or Space for Life. This is one of Montreal's top attractions for visitors from all over the world. So what is it, and how do you get there? Espace pour la vie is Montreal's natural science playground. Forget display cases and velvet ropes. These places are alive, immersive, and they pull you in. It's Canada's largest natural science museum district, and maybe one of the most unique in the world. There are five attractions, with five distinct purposes. The planetarium, that will bend your perception of the universe under a giant dome as you travel across galaxies. The botanical garden, at over 75 hectares, it's one of the largest urban gardens in the world. So big, you'll swear you've left the city entirely. The insectarium, which showcases a stunning collection of insects, including a butterfly dome where hundreds of butterflies fly freely around you. The biodome, where you can step into a tropical rainforest, a Laurentian forest, a marine ecosystem, and come face to face with animals from all over the world. And lastly, the biosphere, Montreal's iconic dome from Expo 67, now transformed into an environmental museum with interactive exhibits and amazing views of the city. Each place has its own vibe, its own story, and its own way to wow you. That's why this will be a five-part series dedicated to each one. Getting there is super easy. As always, I recommend using Montreal's Metro. It's fast, efficient, and cheap. For the Biodome, Planetarium, Insectarium, and Botanical Garden, just hop on the green line and get off at PNF Station. That's Pi with 9 in Roman numerals. From there, it's just a short walk to the entrance of Olympic Park, where four of the five museums are located. The biosphere is the exception. It's on Ile saint hélène so you'll take the yellow line and get off at Jean Drapeau Station. You'll then be standing in front of the massive dome that looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. You can't properly visit all five museums in a day, so the metro will be handy. If you have never used the metro, I've made a beginner's guide video that you should check out after. Pro tip, if you want to visit more than three of the five museums, grab a passport ticket online for $87. A single ticket for any of the five museums will cost you $23.75, with discounts for students, the elderly, and families available. Buying online can save you cash and time. I've linked the site to buy tickets in the description. So that's our quick introduction to Espace pour la vie, but we're just getting started. First up, Rio Tinto Alcan Planetarium. In my opinion, an underrated experience in Montreal. Forget everything you remember about field trips in grade school. This isn't the kind of place where you sit in a dusty chair and stare at plastic constellations. Here you just don't watch space, you travel through it. The planetarium sits right next to the Olympic Stadium, behind the Montreal Tower. The building looks like pieces of a spaceship, jet boosters maybe, that landed on from the sky. Two silver cones, angled towards the stars. You can actually go on the roof of the building to get a closer look at them, but the actual entrance is located at ground level, a little hidden where the trees are. Here's where it gets really interesting. Step inside and get this weird feeling, like you're at the airport and are leaving on a trip. Inside, your visit will be in two parts. Inside the 360 degree dome projector room, the other will be the interactive exhibit about space. You have to be in the projector room at least 15 minutes before the start of the show. They won't let you in if you show up and it's already started. It's located right down the hall facing the entrance. If you're there considerably early, consider checking out the cafe space for a snack. They have a lovely outdoor terrace, a good spot to relax. You can also head to the lower level where they have a few interesting items. For example, you can get a look at the 360 degree projectors that they used to use. Another cool item is this actual meteorite that you can touch and hold in your hands. Once inside the domed room, you have a choice of either sitting in beanbags with everyone on the ground, or in chairs on the side. 
I recommend the beanbags, preferably dead center for the most immersive experience. Even just waiting is such a special experience, staring at the stars all around. The moments the lights cut, the bass drops, and you're off. Floating between Saturn's rings, chasing comets, watching stars collapse into black holes. I obviously couldn't film it all, but it's trippy. It's humbling, and honestly, it's a beautiful experience. Most people come for the dome, but you should stick around afterwards for the exhibits. At the time I visited, it was an exhibit about the possibility of humans living on Mars. A thought-provoking and creative exhibit. You start off in a room that simulates flying through space on a futuristic spaceship to Mars. When you arrive to Mars, you are in this human settlement. They take you through the advances in spacesuit technology, from the very first suits worn by American and Soviet cosmonauts. The exhibit asks the question, what is it like to make cooked pottery from different types of Earth found on Mars? You get to visit a room where they grow extraterrestrial vegetables for consumption. Trippy, I know. The exhibit blends fantasy and real life information about space travel in an interesting and entertaining way. It's not massive, maybe about 30 minutes at most, but it's a perfect way to ground yourself after traveling through space and time in the dome. If the planetarium is on your list of places to visit, I suggest booking your tickets in advance. Weekends, school breaks, even rainy days, this place sells out fast. Pro tip. If you go to any showing after 5 p.m. on Thursday, it costs only $13, a $10 discount. All in all, the entire experience should take around two hours to visit, so a great way to spend the afternoon. So that's your preview of the Rio Tinto Alcan Planetarium, an experience that takes you light years away without leaving Montreal. Next up in part two, we're heading to the enormous Montreal Botanical Gardens, which is filled with surprises at every turn. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it, and if you've been to the planetarium before, let me know about your experience. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.